What's up guys, if you want cheap, fast, and reliable MT, and you want to get those spotlight challenges done, hit up my new sponsor DVDJ and use code YOURBOYBUGS for 10% off a checkout. And yeah man, check them out. What's good YouTube, it's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My T video, and guys, today, um, yeah, I look like a mess, I literally just got home from work, man, I don't care, um, I'm coming on 2K, posting some market talk for you guys, we got market talk, we got some MT methods, snipe filters, and whatnot, we got content probably dropping tomorrow, so we're gonna go over that a little bit as well, as per usual, 20,000 in the comments, like the vid, sub if you are new for a chance of winning 20,000 MT, hit me up on Twitter, Pot, I do some giveaways on there, slide in the DMs, give away some 20k MT action, and yeah, make sure to drop that sub. Let's get this video to 100 likes, man. This is going to be pretty good for the new content. This is you guys getting ready, pretty much preparing for the new content, so I'm honestly predicting some fire tomorrow and Friday, so I am off tomorrow, I am off Friday. Expect three to four videos tomorrow and the next day. We're going to finish up the Lin challenges and get Galaxy Oberoi. I have to finish the Dwight challenges too. Don't even get me started with those, but... Thank you guys for the support. We're at 4,115 subs already. Let's keep it going. Let's hit 5K by the end of this month. I know we can do it. You guys are goaded. But uh, yeah, enough of me talking. We got Mad MT. Let's get to some market talk. So, you know, guys, I honestly say this too much. And uh, I'm just going to start the video with saying you guys need to sell your cards right now. I know I sound like a broken record. But, yo, you guys just need to trust the process. I mean, like, I have been, like... I've tr been trying to play 2K after work, but honestly, um, it's been so dry. And the content has been so dry ever since Kobe died. I know it sounds bad, but it's very true. Ever since Kobe died, I think the content has taken a step back. The Frostbite, the Frostbite packs have been, they're, they're garbage in my opinion. Um, I pulled probably 300,000, 400,000 worth of MT, got nothing. Uh, I pulled a Pippin, I pulled a Walker, that's about it. I pulled like 10 Kevin Martins. Um, but yeah, so right now, man, they have to drop Heat. They got to come back with Heat. I'm thinking maybe Flash, I'm thinking maybe Prime. So now if they do drop Flash and they drop Prime, anything that drops within the first hour, th we're within the first hour to three hours, the market crashes and I sell, sell now, sell your cards right now when I'm posting this video. So try to sell your cards before the new content comes out, you need to sell everything before new content comes out. You will make MT guaranteed. I have, like, I do it every week. That's why my MT is so high. Um, I'm going to show you ways to do it. Um, I'm going to go over the market now and pretty much just show you why you have to sell now. I mean, simple. Uh, I'm going to go over one player. One of the best players in the game, low-key, Larry Bird. 230K, 18 minutes left. Why do I say you sell now? I mean, first off, look at the prices. First off, Kristaps Porzingis dropped because of the diamond. Okay, that, that happens. I don't know why they made the diamond so OP. But uh, yeah, he has dropped. But then again, his price will rise. So honestly, I'm going to say one thing. If you do want to pick up Kristaps, I would wait till Friday. He'll probably drop even more. And uh, yeah, it probably will rise because it is Prime 2. Prime 2 player. They should be dropping a trailer within the next few hours of releasing what content they're going to drop should be tomorrow man if they don't drop content tomorrow we're going to have some problems so hopefully they do drop content um so we got the Kristaps, we got the bird so Kristaps is down if you really want to pick them up you can right now if you really really want to i would recommend picking them up but i would rather wait till friday but if you really really want the Kristaps pink diamond Go ahead. Larry Bird is at an all-time maximum high at 240. Literally, that was his price when he first dropped. And I'm sorry if the dog is barking in the background. That's all my bad. So, okay. Honestly, bro. If you want to buy a team right now, you got to be insane. Um, Carmelo is up about 70K from Friday. Kawhi Leonard is up about... He, he was 120 on Friday. Now he's 190. So, yo. I'm about to do these Lynn challenges tonight. I'm going to finish them. I'm seven challenges away from finishing them. Right now is probably the worst time to do it. I'm going to lose mad MT, but you know what? I, I got to do it. I'm trying to work on Pink Diamond Jeremy Lin. You know what? It's going to happen. Sometimes I take L's. It, it happens. I should have did it on Friday last week. But um, yeah, man. I need to get those Lins done. So I'm going to take about a 30K loss on the solos. But you know what? It happens, I guess. Um, Collector levels. Some All right. You know, forget the collector's levels. We'll take them for another video. Um, Man. I also got to say one more thing, man. If you guys remember, Pink Diamond Eric Gordon 
This one gets me heated. If you guys listened to me and picked up Eric Gordon's for around 30k, I'm gonna show you his price right now, and you guys will be like, "Wow, should have listened to Bugs because he's 45k. He was 46 yesterday. Um, he was 29, 28, 27k around Friday. He is at 45k. If you picked up 10, you would have made at least 12 clean. You would have made 120k MT in seconds. So, yeah, this is why I say sell cards. So I'm gonna go over everything for you guys as per usual. Why do I say sell cards? Why do I say sell cards? When do I tell you guys to buy cards? I always tell you guys to buy cards Friday. I say sell cards because if you guys somehow get together at least 100,000 MT, at least 100,000 MT, when content drops, I'm not talking about like spotlights. That doesn't really crash the market. I'm talking about big packs, flash packs, promo packs, frostbite packs, stuff like that is what really kills the market. And why does it kill the market? Because think about it. Um, pretty much when stuff drops, people rush to the auction selling their things. And it all happens at once. I don't know why people still do this. You always got to sell before. That's why I am dropping this video for you guys. Sell your cards now. Get ready for content tomorrow. Um, yeah, pretty much that's really it. Um, some cards you should target on the market. I'm going to go over some filters. I would target moments players. So, for instance... We got Kristaps Porzingis. Let's go over his price. We got Porzingis. We got the new Kyrie and whatnot. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go Diamond Kristaps. I'm going to go to around... I don't know. I heard he's around 70k MT. I doubt it. I think he might be over 100 still. Um, But yeah. So I'm going to go over him. He's a really good card. He's going to be really, really big within the next couple weeks. So let's see what his price is at. Wow. Is he actually a bid? If he's a bid, that's kind of crazy. Okay, so he's 97k. So now, this is a perfect card to target. Okay, honestly, my prediction. He is gone soon. I think he is gone Friday, maybe. Let's see. What's how, how much packs we got? So Okay. A day and 20 left on the Zinger. So that is Friday. This is my predictions. If they drop content either today or Friday, what's going to happen to Kurzingis' price? He's going to go down to around 70-ish k, maybe even less. Um, why is he a good card to target? One of the most rare diamonds in the game. Um, not only that, I mean, first off, he's comparable to the pink diamond zinger. So that's number one. Number two, bro, you just got to trust the process. If you have enough MT to stack up on Przingis' for around 70k when he drops, you're going to make at least 10k MT off a piece. So that's one guy. Another guy is the Kyrie. Another guy is the Terrence Davis. I like to focus on moments because they do go away. So that's honestly one of my best MT making methods now. Focusing on moments cards right before they drop during the market crash. So they drop and then uh, when the market crashes, you literally stack up and make thousands and thousands of MT. I wish I did it with Eric Gordon. I did it with a couple cards. Uh, I'm trying to think what cards I do it with. I did it with a lot of Diamond Legacy cards. I did it, did it with a lot of Eddie Johnsons. I got like a ton of Eddie Johnsons for like 13k and I resold them for around 19, made 5k profit. So 13k, I bought about 10 um, made about what 5k profit wait no 13 20 yeah about 5k profit clean so 5k profit clean off 10 is 50k mt in literally seconds there were so many up on the auction for 13 i was like yo eddie johnson's used by a lot of cards every time i play online someone's got eddie johnson because of his height and his lankiness picked them up sold them made 50k very good cards to, to target a lot of cheap legacy cards are on roll with drops in price and whatnot but yeah i would recommend staying on moments um uh, moments pink diamond filter because bro it's so fire just trust the process please i really just, just trust the process so overview of preparing for the new content simply sell your cards now um thank me later so every card literally don't even ask you you could ask me in the comments blow up the comments i don't care ask me whatever i'll answer but uh yeah Make sure to sell your cards, no matter what it is. Pink Diamond Bosch, Pink Diamond Brzingis, Pink Diamond Larry Bird. If you have Larry Bird, sell him. Trust the process and sell him. If you have any Diamond Giannis, anything, bro, sell it. It's crazy how much the auction is. I haven't seen the auction this crazy in a while. Sell it. Let me know how it goes. Let me know how much MT you got stacked up, and I'll work with you, man. I'm going to post like three videos tomorrow on the market crash and everything, so... Stay tuned for that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys for so much support. You guys are goaded. And yeah, that's really all I got, guys. Stay tuned for more content. Peace.